Hey Creekside, good to be back together to get to bring you an update on some of the things going on this week. Mike, good to see you. Sorry with the rain, we can't be outside, but uh, it's all good. Listen, uh, uh, we're excited. We've heard from several of you that you've gone ahead and uh, started with uh, these house churches where you are gathering in your home to worship together on a Sunday morning. Um, I know Mike and I have heard back from a few of you that have done it, and it's been just a super time of encouragement. So uh, for those of you that have done it, uh, thanks for stepping out into that. For others of you, if you're interested in doing that, uh, but um, you're not exactly sure who to invite in, on this email, there'll be a place for you to click a button and you can let us know that you'd be willing to host a few people at your house to worship together on a Sunday morning. Uh, click on that and um, we'll connect you with some folks. Or maybe you're some folks who you're newer to Creekside or you're not exactly sure where you might do that and you'd love to on a Sunday morning go to someone's house and, and worship with them. Uh, there's a button for you to click on as well. Um, this is one of those steps, this is an important step for us to start moving back together, uh, to worship together. Uh, and as Mike and I and, and the pastors have talked, um, I think the fruit of this, of us getting to be together on a Sunday morning, to worship together, to spend time together in a house setting, um, on the one hand, it's a baby step towards being back together on a Sunday morning, but I think it's a, a really valuable time for us to continue to be in community, to build community and relationships. Uh, perhaps with folks that we don't know. So I think this is going to be a really good thing for us as a church. So please take advantage of that if you can. Some of you, small kids or health issues, you're going to want to just keep worshiping at home on, worshiping at home on your own like you have been, and that's fine. Uh, but for those that are ready to take a, a step, this is a great first step to take. Mike, what else is going on? Yeah, I'll just add my... my uh what's the word I'm looking for? Two cents. Yeah, my two cents to that. Thank you. Is, yes. uh, you know, please, if, if you're willing and you have a TV um, to be able to stream our service and to be able to do it with folks around you, I think it's a great step. And we were able to do that this Sunday. And since I wasn't preaching, it wasn't weird for me to be watching the service, but nice. um, to be able to worship together actively with our, our brothers and sisters. I do want to bring a really exciting piece of news. So um, several weeks back, we did our, to my knowledge, first ever Hope for Kids drive that was mm. done digitally. So if you're wow. newer to Creekside, um, Hope for Kids is a partnership with our sister church in Haiti through which we sponsor children to receive not only an education but nutritious meals, some basic medical checkups once a year, uniform supplies for school, these things. Um, in the past we have sponsored, our sponsorship has been steadily climbing into the 150s and 160s. This year we didn't know what was going to happen with the yeah. outbreak and doing yeah. this digitally and you all responded in an incredible way. God has been so faithful. This year, uh, for the first time we broke 200. We have 214 kids that we are sponsoring through the Hope for Kids drive this year. It's up, from, it's up 30 from last year. So I just wanna thank you all for your generosity and your commitment yeah. to love and, and serve these, uh, the least of these that we're um, related to in Christ down in Haiti, and uh, way to go, Creekside. Thank you yeah, so much for um, remaining invested in this program despite the uncertainty of these times, and um, this is gonna be kingdom work that is gaining us rewards in, uh, in the kingdom into eternity. So really excited about that. Uh, great job, Creekside. Thank you so much to the Haiti team who put a ton of work in behind yeah. the scenes to make this all possible, and we're really thankful that we get to serve our sister church down there in this way. Uh, Creekside, we're gonna have some news coming next week about how we're going to begin to think about having services in here again. Uh, we've got a few conversations left to have. Our committee's doing great work. Our elders are going to uh, talk tomorrow night, um, and we're going to come next week with some news about some opportunities to be back in this room in smaller groups to do some, some worshiping together with Creeksiders. So stay tuned for that. That's coming next week. And until then, you are loved and you are prayed for. We miss you all.